Hello everyone, Cleopatra Ani, a staunch supporter of Mfumkonto Wesizwe party leader Jacob Zuma and the MK member said the policies of the party were a reflection of her father, adding that he dedicated his entire life to serving his people and said if my father was still alive we wouldn't have had a Kumalo situation, he wouldn't be there at all, no one would have an opportunity to use their money to try divide Umkonto Wesizwe party, my dad would have made sure that the son of the universe Zuma was protected at all times as they both come way back and shared good memories together, she was thrilled she was following the path she believed her father would have walked had he been alive, she further said that the reason Zuma was hated and victimized was because he was not a product of what she called business. He was for the emancipation of black people, hence he was enemy number one. You can see and tell how all these people are shaken by the idea of him becoming the head of the state again. The reason is because they are aware that he's going to bring much needed change in the lives of people and also bring back their dignity. The nicest thing about him is that he's involving religious leaders and traditional leaders in this. That is the sign of respect and also trying to restore their rightful position. On land issue, Ani said it was now time that the people rightfully took back what belonged to them. In order for the people to have what belonged to them, they should do away with cowardice. We must make sure that we have land because with land we can be able to feed ourselves and families. Without land we have nothing as people. White people have taken so much from us. Today, the scientists have even taken our traditional medicine and turned them into modern medicines. In so doing, belittling our traditional doctors or healers, and that needs to change. She concluded by reiterating that she was at the right place in the MK party as Zuma and her father were speaking the same language in terms of policies. Chris Hane was the chief of staff of Umkonto Wesizwe but stepped down in 1992 to devote more time to the organization of the SA Communist Party. After the unbanning of the ANC and SACP on February 2, 1990, he returned to South Africa and became a charismatic and a popular speaker in townships. By 1990, he was known to be a close associate of Joss Lovo, General Secretary of the SACP. Both Slovo and Krisani were considered fearful figures in the eyes of South Africa's extreme right, including Afrikaner. AWB, Afrikaner Re Resistance Movement, and the Conservative Party. When Slovo announced that he had cancer in 1991, Chris Hane took over as the General Secretary of the SACP, and he was assassinated in April 1993. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.